If you'd been looking out at dusk across the Canberra woodlands and plains in the 1800s, you might have seen a small rabbit-sized kangaroo starting its nocturnal activities, the Eastern Betong. Today, it's a different story. They're now extinct from the Australian mainland, but that is all about to change as the result of an ambitious project to bring the betong back to the ACT. Feeding on underground fungi, as well as tubers of lilies, orchids and other plants, betongs are considered likely to be ecosystem engineers because of the way they interact with their environment. Their foraging creates up to 3,000 diggings per hectare. The positive benefits on the soil, water and nutrients by increasing the soil's capacity to capture and absorb water have never before been measured. Their digging disperses the spores of the fungi that they feed on. These fungi enable eucalyptus and acacia trees to extract nutrients from the infertile Australian soil. They build densely woven nests made of dry grasses and bark, under fallen timber or among bushes and tussocks. An unusual feature of bedongs, unlike the larger kangaroos, they carry nesting material curled in their tail. Up until the turn of the 20th century, the eastern betong was common throughout the southeast Australian seaboard, including the ACT. They became extinct on the mainland due to the spread of foxes, helped by land clearing and livestock grazing. They're now only found in the eastern half of Tasmania, the only place they exist in the wild. However, even there, they're now under serious threat because of the recent arrival of the red fox in Tasmania. The project to bring the betong back to the ACT will help provide insurance for the population in Tasmania. The ACT Mulligan's Flat Woodland Sanctuary encloses over 400 hectares of critically endangered yellowbox red gum grassy woodland inside a fox, cat and dog proof fence. The aim is to restore the enclosed woodlands to pre-European condition by removing feral animals and reintroducing locally extinct species. It is the only sanctuary of this ecosystem type in existence. The betong will play a special role through improving the ecology and health of box gum woodlands in the sanctuary. A major research project involving the Australian National University and CSIRO has seen several steps taken to improve the box gum woodland for biodiversity and will include a thorough scientific investigation of betong ecology. Betongs need open woodland with enough ground cover to build nests as well as sufficient food, particularly underground fungi. Mulligan's Flat Woodland Sanctuary and Tibimbilla Nature Reserve have the right type of betong habitat. With the predator-proof fence, the woodland sanctuary is particularly suitable for a new colony of betongs in the ACT. The Tasmanian Government's Department of Primary Industry, Parks, Water and the Environment, known as DePipwi, has provided invaluable support to the project in Tasmania. A sedation trial overseen by specialist wildlife veterinarians was carried out in Tasmania to evaluate an appropriate betong tranquilizer dose to safely sedate them to reduce stress during transportation. Special crates safe for transporting the betongs were constructed to comply with air transport regulations. The first stage of the project is to establish a genetically diverse founder population in a large secure enclosure at Tibbinbilla Nature Reserve. On a rainy day in late October 2011, the first six female betongs safely arrived at Canberra Airport, met by a wildlife officer from Tibbinbilla Nature Reserve. Over the week, a total of 19 betongs arrived, 15 females and four males. On arrival at Tibbinbilla, all of the betongs had full health checks at the veterinary centre and were treated for any parasites or health problems. Vital statistics and measurements were recorded for each betong, including their pouch young. Once they sufficiently recovered from their travels, they were released into secure quarantine enclosures at dusk.
Cameras in the feeders showed they were feeding within 15 minutes of release. Some betongs have also been seen collecting nesting material, all excellent signs for their future in the ACT. The intention is to establish a foundation captive breeding population of around 30 betongs at Tidbinbilla to form a regional insurance population in captivity and also to breed animals for eventual release into semi-wild and wild areas. Stage two in 2012 will see the reintroduction of betongs to the woodlands now enclosed in the Mulligan's Flat Woodland Sanctuary. This second group of animals will again come mainly from wild populations in Tasmania. Two groups of animals, one at Tibimbilla, the other at Mulligan's Flat, gives a degree of insurance and better genetic diversity to increase their chances of survival and producing future healthy offspring. Their return to the area will be accompanied by intensive ecological research by the Fenner School at the Australian National University to allow us to learn more about this species. With its unique role in the woodland ecosystem, the betong will play a special part in improving the ecology and health of box gum woodlands. With the knowledge we gain from their return to the ACT, we can also hopefully ensure the survival of the eastern betong for generations to come.